Hey guys, Garrett here, and today I want to tell you how easy it is to maintain your geothermal system. Now, it doesn't matter if you're like me and you install this yourself or if you had this professionally installed. It needs a little bit of maintenance, but the key word there is little. It doesn't take much, super easy to do, and anybody can do it. Not only that, but you can just wear your favorite clothes. Like me, you can have your slippers on and your favorite comfy pants and your favorite sweatshirt and it's not a big deal. You do not have to go outside to maintain one of these things. It's very easy to do and it only takes about five minutes. First thing you want to do is your air filter. You want to make sure that you change that at regular intervals. Now I have an air bear filter here and it's a real high performance filter and it is supposed to last six to nine months before you have to actually change that. So, let's go ahead and change this, pull it out. Notice as you pull it out, this airflow uh, indicator right here shows that the airflow goes that way and it makes sense with the design of this system. So, pull out the old one and you can notice look how nasty that is. Yeah, definitely needs to be cleaned or changed. Here's our nice, clean, new one. Again, airflow, make sure you get it in the right direction. As well as it has a date of installation, you just need to write that down because you will not remember when you last did it. So if you wrote it on the filter, it's easy to remember. And then after you do this, I definitely suggest putting it on a calendar or something, six months or however long in the future that you need to reinstall this or just check it every so often make sure that you know when you did it not every filter is exactly the same therefore your interval that you change these things is going to be dependent upon the filter itself as well as the usage of the system if it is being used all the time and there's just tons and tons of air going through it you're going to want to change it more often than not the next step again very easy Whatever manifold system that you have, like I have here, I built this myself, but you may have one that looks different than this. Check each and every joint just to make sure that it is not leaking. So at your shutoff valves, of course, at all of these joints, your joints at your non-pressurized pump system. Same deal right over here where it goes into your geothermal system. Make sure that nothing is leaking. It's pretty easy to do with just a visual check. Next step is really simple again. Just go to your non-pressurized pump here and spin off this cap and just look inside of it. Do you have fluid in there? If the answer is yes, you're good to go. Mine is right at the top, exactly where I left it the last time that I checked it. So it basically double checks that I don't have any leaks. I don't have any that I can see on the inside of the house. And since this fluid level is the same height as the last time that I had it, there's none out in the loop field as well. The last thing you wanna do is make sure that your pumps are actually working. These are the pumps that are attached to this non-pressurized system right here. And the way to do that is to turn on your geothermal unit, get it to where it's running, because anytime it is running, these pumps are also running. So at that point, you just let it run for a little bit and you want to touch both the in and the out uh, pipe right there. And one of them is going to be a little bit warmer than the other one. And if that is so, they're working. Seriously, guys, that's all there is. It is that easy to do. And it, like I said, it takes you about five minutes to do all of that. And I would recommend doing that anytime that you change that filter. Keep in mind what I just described is for a closed loop system, whether that's horizontal or vertical closed loop system. If you have an open loop system, there's a lot more maintenance that goes into it, which is why I generally recommend a closed loop horizontal system. It's the easiest one to maintain. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe. I'll see you next time.